So, printable file types. You can't just take a normal 3D model file and shove it into a 3D printer on a USB drive. It doesn't work that way. So what you have to do is you have to go through a series of steps to take that model and turn it into code that the machine can read. So you can take any 3D modeling program that you're using, Fusion 360, SolidWorks, Inventor, Rhino, any program you can model anything in, as long as you can export that model as any of these four right here, an STL, an OBJ, an X3D, and a 3MF. However, the most common one that is used almost universally is STLs. If you can export as an STL, you're golden. So once you have your STL file, you then put that into the slicing program that we use known as Cura. The Craftbots use their own slicing software called Craftware, and I will be going over Craftware at the end after the Cura tutorial. So stay tuned for that. Cura, it's used on all the other 3D printers. So if you look at this image right here, this is what you're gonna see when you import your STL into Cura, the slicing software. From there, you can take the objects, line them up, and then you hit slice. And why it's called slice is because it literally slices it to ribbons and makes it into a G-code. It basically writes down everything that the 3D printer needs to do, like move X 10 points, move Y 10 millimeters, draw a circle. And it writes all that code down, and then you take that file and give that to the 3D printer to read. So Cura, the slicing software that we use. It's free, it's easy to use, and it's quite simple. So after you have your design, you can then use Cura to prepare it and then slice the thing into G-code. So downloading Cura, really simple. Just go to Google and you look up C-U-R-A, Cura. Very first link, it's by Ultimaker. So you click that and you'll see this screen. And from here you can download Cura for free and you can use that on basically any 3D printer. It's really open source. You can download any 3D printer that exists basically. And from there you can slice to the 3D printer of your choosing and then have a nice 3D print ready to go. 